Mises Gradebook. After you've logged into Mises, go over and click on the Gradebook tab. After it loads, you see that you have a list of names and the top header is blank. From here, we are going to go to Admin and we're going to start off by choosing Grading Scales. It has a default grading scale of 60, 70, 80, 90. However, at the end of the semester, I like to have a slightly different scale, so I'm going to click Add Grading Scale. I'm going to title it End of Semester. And I'm going to come down here, click on 90, and I'm going to change it to 89.5. Now, when I click on the next one below, notice that the previous one is 89. This one I'm going to change to 79.5, and so on. Now that I have everything entered, I'm going to hit Save. And that's it. I'm going to go back to Admin, choose Manage Categories. Notice that it comes with five categories. Classwork, Homework, Projects, Quizzes, and Tests. I'm going to delete Projects quizzes and tests and I'm going to add a category that I'm going to title final and be sure to give it a short name. Now I use weighted categories. If you do not use it you can leave at this point by clicking Save. I'm going to click on the weight categories and notice over here it has entry boxes for the percentages. The final I'm going to set at 15, classwork at 80, and homework at 10. Notice down here it says total weight 105 percent and it is in red. That's because these must add up to 100 percent. So I'm going to come back here to the classwork, enter 75, click outside the box, it's green, you can now save it. I'm going to create some assignments. I'm going to come up here to assignments. Notice all of this is blank. Add new assignment, category, homework, title, rules, and AUP. Maximum score, I'm going to set at 100 points. Due date, August 14th. Special status, I'm going to set to standard. And save. Notice that you now have a column labeled rules and AUP. But let's go back and add some more assignments first. And you do not have to do a save in between each one. You can just keep clicking Add New Assignments. Now when you have everything done that you want to do at that section, just go ahead and click Save. Notice there's an error code. Compressed file upload has a due date that does not fall into any grading periods. Notice I had entered just 814. It must be the format of month slash day slash year. Now I can click Save. And notice that all of the assignments are across here now. Let's go ahead and enter some grades. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 
9 out of 10, 10 out of Notice that I did a typo and it's preventing me from entering it or asking me if I'm sure. So I'm going to click cancel, enter 10. Actually I wanted 9 for that one. 10 out of 10. I made a mistake here. I want this assignment to be 20 points. So I'm going to click on the assignment name. Notice it opens up that one assignment. I'm going to change the maximum score to 20. Save it. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter 15 and for this last one 85. Once I click outside of it, notice it has a calculated grade of 139 points. That doesn't mean terribly much to me at this point because I have weighted grades and here's two different categories. So I'm going to come down here to roster view and I'm going to tick off show overall percentage 89.41 and go back and sh tick off show calc grade and that's a B. What happens if I come over here and change it to an 86? Notice it's an 89.53 and it has changed it to an A. That right there is a demonstration that it's following the modified grading scale that I have entered as end of semester. And one more thing, I'm going to come over here to admin and I'm going to choose save as save class as a template. If you have more than one section of a class. This is very helpful. I'm going to call this Topic 1 Common. Give it a short description. I want it to include the category name, the class, which is Classwork Final homework. It's going to include these assignments, this grading scale. Now I'm going to save it. Let me go over to a different class period. Going to come over here to admin and choose import from class template. I'm going to choose this template. Click Save. and you'll notice this class now has the same assignments. And If I take a look at grading scale, same grading scales. Now one thing to be aware of when you've imported a class template is if you take a look here you'll notice that the assignment titles are the same, the dates are the same, the points are the same. If we take a look at the grading scale, it's has the same grading scales. However, the categories have been added on to the default categories. So if you take a look here, you have classwork, final, homework, but it still has project, quizzes, and tests. So, I, and notice that the weight is currently 15%. So I'm going to go back and delete these other categories that I don't want set these percentages to where I want it to be when it's done or correct I hit save and I'm done the two classes are now the same those are the basics